We don't talk about Bruno. Okay, anyway, um, so lesson 15.2. So determine the period of the following graph. So we'll talk about the equation of a period in a second. Um, but this is all period is, okay? Is you look and see where, how long it takes to make a full cycle. Okay, so watch. This is what I mean. So a full cycle is you go up, you go past that point, you go down, and you go back to that point. Boop, right here. So this is 4 pi. So the period of this graph is 4 pi. Again, how long it takes to make one full cycle. Write that down, por favor. Okay, same thing over here. So this is where our graph starts on the, uh, crosses the y-axis. And we have to get back there. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go past that point. I'm going to go down. And it's going to stop right here. Okay, this is 6 pi. So the period of this graph is 6 pi. All right. This next one. Okay, so the formula for period is 2 pi over b. Uh, the first number, this one right here, is our amplitude. Okay, the b, which is a new one. So the b is right here. It's the number that's in front of the x. Okay, so in this case, our b is equal to 5. So if I said, hey, hey yo. What's the period of this graph right here? Its period is equal to 2 pi over, and our b is 5. So I put the 5 here, so 2 pi over b, okay? If you had another example, this is a delta math example, so determine the period of the following trig function. So again, we need to find our b, okay? The b is the number that's in front of the x. So in this case, our b is equal to 4. So the period is equal to 2 pi over b so that's 2 pi over 4 b is 4 okay uh if you put this into delta math they're going to want you to simplify it so just to refresh your memory about how to simplify it right so we're going to take our calculator our handy dandy calculator and let's clear all this garbage right here so we're not going to put the pi in we're just going to put 2 over 4 so alpha y equal to get a fraction option number one I'm going to put 2 over 4. A lot of you might know that that's the same thing as a half. Boom. So that's the same thing as 1 half, and you put the pi. So there's your period. Final answer. Okay? I'm going to do another one. So determine the period, right? So the period is equal to 2 pi over b. Our b in this case, the number in front of the x, right, is 2 thirds. It's together. So our b here is 2 thirds. Okay? So we're going to go plug into our calculator. We're going to do 2 pi over 2 thirds. Okay, 2 thirds. Remember when you're plugging this into the calculator? So just watch this, okay? So I'm going to go alpha y equals. We're going to do option number 1. So we're going to put 2. We're not going to put the pi, remember? So 2 over, and we're going to put another fraction here. So 2 over a 2 thirds. You hit enter, it's 3. So the final answer is 3 pi. If you're like, what the heck? Like, how does that work? This is why. 2 pi over 1 divided by 2 thirds, right? That's what we're doing. 2, th two pi divided by 2 thirds. 2 pi over 1. When you're doing division, you do keep, change, so that becomes the times, and then you flip this fraction. So this becomes 3 over 2. 2 pi times 3 is 6 pi over 1 times 2 is 2. 6 pi over 2 is equal to 3 pi. Final answer, okay? Either way you do it, you get the same exact thing. Good job.